Hey solar people, uh, I just thought I'd take a quick video of uh, a Victron system that I've just finished because uh, I don't think I've filmed a Victron system yet. Uh, so this house here is in Marangup in rural WA. This is actually a full size home, I think it's four by two, but it's a transportable home. This, this house only got delivered a week ago um, on trucks and all this has been done um, it's amazing, uh, beautiful house. You can just see the two joins there where they've joined them all together. So that was one section on a truck, middle section on a truck, and now third section on the truck. Um, amazing. Um, so I'm just finishing off here now. Um, there's two cabinets here. The reason there's two cabinets is the batteries need to be kept separate from um, the inverter and uh, charge controller, all, all the other apparatus. Um, in this uh, sort of installation. Um, this is a, a steel framed house and I've mounted uh, this one to the wall. It's extremely solid um, and unfortunately I couldn't run my conduits in the cavity or anything because there is no cavity. But uh, this side will actually all be enclosed anyway and it's apparently going to be a cat run. Um, so this is inside the cabinet. You've got your inverter there and your charger so that will charge from the generator if need be um, charge controller there so that looks after the solar charging a switchboard with a generator changeover switch so we can switch to generator in case the system fails and this is our color screen here so you can see everything that's happening you can see you can also see this display on your uh, phone or from a, a laptop or PC um, via via um, Victron um, VRM, which is their portal. So this is the Serbo GX device. This will connect to their Wi-Fi network, and then um, they'll be able to see the system and uh, pretty much exactly that from um, wherever they are in the world with a, an internet connection. Um, so there's three screens on there. I can actually manually start the generator from here as well if I want to. Um, so you can see our solar charge, 166 watts, com 166 watts coming from the uh, solar panel. So it's almost dark. Uh, so they're just winding down. Batteries are at 98%. And our inverter is inverting and putting 56 watts to the, to the house. Um, everything in here, it's your battery isolator, solar PV isolator, start up and shut down procedure, manuals and everything there, um, all done nice and neat. Just shut this up. And then you've got your battery cabinet here. Again, I've used Power Plus Energy batteries. Uh, there's only two which again is a bit small for this house, um, but they're pretty confident that that's about all they're gonna need. They're gonna live pretty conservatively. A lot of, a lot of stuff is gas. Um, we've got a shunt in there just for accurate measurement of the battery state of charge. All right, so I can actually fit another two batteries in there. It doesn't look like it, but I've actually got a space between the two. Um, yeah, so beautiful little cabinet. And this comes pre pre-wired and everything from Power Plus. Actually, I'll just put them in there. Sorry, that probably sounds terrible. All right, so that's that. And then down the back here, we've got the generator. So it was quite a long generator run, which wasn't ideal, but is what it is. So the cables run underground through here and go down to our uh, able generator that I've used on this one. Owner supplied the generator. I generally won't supply generators um, just in case there's any issues with them. I prefer clients to go direct back to the supplier. Good little generator, good for the money. Um, if you were relying purely on a generator, you probably wouldn't have one of these. I've said that before, but for the money, they're not bad. Um, I've put a battery charger on here just to maintain the battery. 
So at the moment it's um, putting a bit of charge and this can also go into storage mode which is great because you don't necessarily want any regular battery charger connected to your battery because you'll destroy it. Um, so that's a special battery charger that one that can do um, storage or maintenance charge. Um, solar panels are on the roof. I actually didn't have all the solar panels for this job, which was a bit frustrating. So I've got to come back. I think we're short five panels. I've done all the railing and everything. I've just got to come back and put them back on. This one's not too far from where I live. So it's no big deal for me to have to come back. Just frustrating, that's all. So there's the panels there. Tindo Solar again, 410 watt. And uh, that should be plenty for uh, this customer's load. Switchboard there. Yeah, labeling. So they're having gas bottles there gas hot water system there, instant gas. Um, so their electrical loads aren't that huge. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Catch ya.